Today I'm going to be doing a review of this particular sword. Um, this comes from Universal Swords and it's quite a bit different than a lot of the swords that I've reviewed from Universal Swords in that it was created to look antique um, whereas all the others are replicas of brand new shiny versions of the swords. This is the Royal Navy 1804 pattern boarding cutlass. This is a very simple weapon, simple design. <laughs> they were uh, created for battles at sea. Um, there's a few things that are really unique about this particular uh, model of sword. They made them with a cast iron grip because uh, at sea uh, fluctuations in temperatures and salt water, there's, uh, you know, moisture and stuff. I guess it rotted out wood handles pretty quick. Uh, moisture and sea splash would get into the uh, spaces between the handle and the and the uh, guard and probably rotted wood pretty quick. Um, so this was made to last longer. Uh, these were simple battle weapons. They're uh, stout and wide made for hacking and uh, you know hacking rigging and and uh, you know if they're throwing lines over to pull boats closer, they would be hacking the ropes uh, so they can't be boarded, different things like that. Now this was created after an example uh, from the Battle of Lake Erie in the War of 1812. Um, and uh, like I said, it's been antiqued. It has a, a sort of a rust finish on it. The, the blade is, of course, uh, polished nicely. This, this was made from... Um, EN9 steel. I'm not really familiar with that kind of, it's a medium grade, uh, medium carbon steel, um, but it takes a nice temper. And uh, this, uh, I'll show you a little clip of me doing some cutting with this. And I took this and slammed it hard into the end of my cutting stand, my wooden cutting stand. And um, <laughs> there's not a mark, an abrasion, or any indication that I, that I did anything with this blade at all, except take it out of the scabbard. Now, Universal Swords sells these as display pieces, first and foremost. They come from Universal Swords unsharpened. So you either have to sharpen it yourself, or if you're buying it through a third-party vendor that has a sharpening service, you could do that too. Um, that being said, there's no reason why these can't be used uh, as, a, you know, as a functional piece rather than just a display piece. A um, couple of things I'll show you here. Um, this end nut, I had it loose so I could take this apart and show you how this is made. As you can see, it is full tang. There's a leather washer, oops, little leather washer here, uh, gasket kind of thing. This threaded piece on the end that takes this screw into it is actually welded onto the end here but uh, it is a very good weld I had a look at this piece before I used it to make sure it was uh, suitable for using and and it, it is a, a nicely done weld on the end there it's quite solid and the rest of the tang is solid and thick so I had no problems uh, cutting with it this sword comes with this uh, stiff leather scabbard it's pretty nicely done um, not a lot to it just a basic scabbard with a with a brass uh, clip on it for your belt. One thing you should keep in mind if you are planning on using this particular sword, uh, it doesn't hold true with all of Universal Swords uh, products, but this one in particular, I found that when my hands got wet, or like now when my hands are a bit sweaty, uh, the black uh, dye is coming off the leather. Um, so you might want to keep that in mind or use some kind of a spray sealant or something on the, uh, you know, a matte finish or a flat finish sealant on the leather uh, before you use the sword uh, or the scabbard or <laughs> you're going to end up with black hands. That being said, it's actually a, a pretty nice piece. Uh, it's a great price for the metal of the sword. Whatever they did to temper this sword to, to when, you know, they did it right because like I said, I uh, gave this sword a really good beating on my stand and there's not uh, any kind of a mark or blemish or anything on the blade. So. 
well done sword for what it is uh, and for the price of it. Uh, it's a lot of f fun for, <laughs> you know, for the pirate in you. Arr!